All right, everyone, my next guest says that her former friend set her business on fire and burned it to the ground. Y'all heard me right. Because of a misunderstanding that they had 20 years ago. But now Candy is trying to solve a 22-year-old mystery, and Patsy wants to clear her name and put the past behind them once and for all. I want y'all to take a look at this. The best dream in my life was opening up that salon. It opened up on my birthday, 0401-1999. So Patsy saw one of my styles in a hair magazine and actually called me to book me for an appointment. Patsy was telling me it was her dream to become a hairstylist and blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay, I can help you with that. So when she completed her program, she actually came to me and asked to be my assistant. After that, she kind of start, started like disappearing, not coming to work. Me and the whole staff, let's go to Vegas, let's turn up, let's have a good time, celebrate. I get a phone call from a good friend of mine. He said, you need to get up there and see about your business, because girl, your shop was set on fire. So everybody was showing up, you know, salvaging what they had left. And we calling Patsy, calling her, calling her, calling her. No phone, no answer. I even went to where she was formerly living. Patsy's gone. You know, it was just a scary, awful feeling to know somebody hated you that much to want to take your business from you. It almost all pointed to Patsy. All right, everyone, please help me welcome Candy to the show. Okay, so um, I'm sorry. I, I, I know we're going to talk about something very serious here, but Candy, yeah. you look amazing. Can we just stand and have you look at this outfit? Can I have you stand and look at this? Oh, my God. This fit is everything. You look stunning. You. Okay, Thank yeah. You. I'm sorry. Like, it makes oh. sense why you were in the beauty industry, fashion yes. industry, because it's working here. Yes. So, literally, you had this business that you started, mm -hmm. and you think that Patsy was the one who burned it down. Well, uh, I believe Patsy, if she didn't burn it down, maybe she did know something about it, or because it doesn't make sense that every time I see Patsy, um, she's depressed, she's sad, something's wrong, and then she wants to bring up this damn fire. Yeah. And out of a thousand people that I know, no one talks about this but Patsy. Wow, got it. So you're feeling like maybe there's some guilt there. Yes. Got it. So Deep guilt. She disappeared shortly after this all happened. Yes. How, what do you mean by disappeared? Well, we couldn't contact her. We couldn't contact her. Yeah. And um, everybody else was around. And um, Patsy just disappeared like she always does. So what happened leading up to the fire? Well, let me just give you a little background. When I met Patsy, I just saw a young woman who was lost, who happened, I had to meet her from a hairstyle I did that went into a hair magazine. She came in and wanted that hairstyle, so we got to talking. And she said she wanted to become a hairstylist. So I actually took Patsy and introduced her to a friend of mine and put her in school. Wow, wow. So how did the police identify what the fire was? Did they say it was an accident? Did they say it was arson? No, it was an arson. Okay, so they did, the yes, police did say it was arson. They threw something through the window. Right. And, um, an old friend of mine said that he saw two dark-skinned girls running from behind the building. So what was your relationship with Patsy at the time? Well, she was like my little sister. I took yeah. her in. I took her in, put her in school. I would even go down to the school and do demonstrations, check on her. So when she graduated from beauty college, she came straight to me to now be at my personal assistant beyond doing hair. And is she back in your life now? No, I don't want her back in my life. Got it. Okay. So how often have you interacted since that fire? Maybe, um, like, it'd be like four years span, five years span of time. Yeah, so four years, five years uh, passed, and then you all interacted Right, again. like, recently, um, Patsy called me, and I was creating my own reality show. And so as Patsy watched this film, she dropped her head. I said, what's wrong? She said, I didn't know you went through all this. I didn't know you was involved in a um, home invasion and all the stuff that I went through. And she said, I still feel so sorry about how you feel like I burned you. I said, I said, I said Patsy, you bringing that up again? Did you confront her about it there, or was I it did. just too much of a shock? No, I did. Uh -huh. I said, Patsy, what is the problem that you keep bringing this up out of a million people in the world? No one, this is a forbidden conversation. Yeah. So what, did you do this? 
Did you, do you know who did this? Yeah. And it adds up to, you know something. Hello, how, how are you doing? doing? I'm Good great, thank you. you. Can, so, I, can I say something? I was in the back and I've heard a lot of things of for the first time and Candy, hi, first off. Hey, Patsy. And you're lying about a few things. Maybe you forgot, but I didn't know about this fire that you say happened. I don't know if it truly happened until my son, my son is now 12, until he was 11 when I called you. And yes, I was going through depression because I was in the military and my grandmother passed away. It was nothing to do with you. And that conversation, you said, well, Patsy, you know, my shop got burned down and I was totally shocked because you had a beautiful shop and you always been doing your best all of my life that I've known you. Right. And at that point, you told me that I did it. And at that point, I'm like, oh, no, Candy, I never would do nothing like that to you. At that time, you invited me to come work with you at a shop on Melrose, not right. as your assistant, but as my own stylist. Because when I got out of hair school, I didn't come straight to your shop. I got out of hair school when I was 21. I came to you at 23, 24. So that's Well, two I don't years, know what the time frame when some you of the graduated. Things, I just know when you finished school. Some of the school, things you said. You came to my salon. Yeah, because the plan was I was supposed to be your apprentice. I wasn't supposed oh, to get you, my you own license. You came in as my assistant. So I'm yes. a, I'm a, I want to get a little clarification because you said something that struck me as you said that you didn't know that there was a fire. No, I didn't know until you, 11 years ago. Were you working ago. there at the time? What happened was I was working there for a very short period of time. She had a celebrity client that I did the daughter's hair. And then while doing the daughter's hair, he said to us, when I, when I bring my wife back, you, I'm going to bring you all some tickets to the show. His wife came back. I started doing her hair. She had individuals. I did the majority of the hair. Candy had her other client. She finished that young lady's hair, the wife's hair. During that time, her friend had came down from Vegas. And I'm in the shop, and I hear the conversation. So her friend came down to go to the show. So at that time, I bit my tongue because I had to first, I have a, a tendency of wanting to think my thoughts through. I like to check myself before I go make a mistake. Okay, I'm with So that. I took out some time and she gave me well, a ride. Me, wait, but let I, me stop I, but, this I, but she was talking to me, man. Okay. You had a lot of time back there. Right. Okay, so. so there's during, no reason to be rude, though. I'm not being rude. Right. Okay, so during that time, though, um, Candy had gave me a ride home that night and I bit my tongue because I didn't want to know, for one, I had to check myself because those are her clients. She paid me for my services of that day, so I couldn't hold that. So I had to think that through. And I had just met this guy, and he was in the military, and he was in Tennessee. Me and him had been talking. He told me what we had planned when he came back from his um, vacation leave for the holiday that I would get picked up by one of his friends who was picking him up from the airport, and we drove, all three of us, to Ridgecrest. When I came back from Ridgecrest, during that time that I stayed there, I called her sister, which is like her business manager. I asked her, did they still need me? She said, no, we don't need you any longer. I figured it was a no call, no show, I got fired. So I moved on with my life. I ended up going so, to the military so the fire at 27. happened within those couple days? I don't know days. when it happened. I yes. told you, I just, right now, I just heard a lot of new stuff in the back. I don't know so about So was that fire. when the fire happened during those couple of days when she was gone? Let me tell you what happened. First of all, I never knew Patsy was even upset with me behind the earthquake tickets. Right. I had no idea that she even harbored any anger because I don't party with my assistants or, or my you know, people that work underneath me. So when she got offended, I had no, this was my first time hearing about her being angry at me it's the last the time, time I braided her hair. No, I didn't know you were mad at me behind I the earthquake I told you from the very first time because no, that was I the only thing that happened that weekend. No, I did not know you were weekend. angry at me Well, in the back until you, you said, Patsy, what happened to you? Why did you disappear? Your, and that's the reason I disappeared. Your hair, so you must have heard it. And that's you let me know you, had, you were angry at me okay. behind not taking you to the earthquake sure. concert with me. Okay, I wasn't angry. Yes, I told no, you. No, you said you I were angry. To, yeah, you but said I had you were to, upset with me about yes, that. Yes, I was upset. I had to get through my thoughts, but I didn't want to be. But what the made you feel the like the 23-year-old that I was obligated to take you? I with didn't. Me. That's why I had yeah, to check did. myself. Do you but know I'm when saying. it burned down? Because we still don't know. How about that? It burned down. I opened my salon, 04 01 1999. I took my staff to Las Vegas to celebrate. We don't know where Patsy disappeared to. When did it to. burn down? It burned down on New Year's Eve going into 2000. January. Okay. Okay, that's the same up time. one year. I was he... successful overnight. I had no idea that I even had anybody to even want to hate me to do this. Well, and I did a small well, circle when I, when of who I was around me. Into your life, and I met another gentleman. That's when I, I said, when, so when you popped back up, I said, my shop burned down. Did you have anything to do that with was, it? No. Yeah, you asked, asked me, and you. I told you no. And then when you but, when but I called you last do week, you keep bringing you this up. You keep bringing this up. You bring it up. Girl, I called you the other day to get my hair done so I can go to Dubai tomorrow. And you said, I'm not talking to you no more because you burnt my house, my shop down. I'm like, Candy, I didn't burn you. Damn talking shot about down. burning the, you this, freaking burning lie. Out the salon. Girl, you were lying. I did your hair, you talked about it. Candy. You take me back every time with this You stuff. bring the shit up. No, you I bring don't. it up, Candy. I've had people do way worse, worse than get, not give me a ticket that was 
promised to me by a celebrity. It wasn't promised to you. Hold on, sweetheart. He's talking to Patsy again. But it was and never then, promised to you. Like Let's I keep said, it clear. It was never promised to you. Whatever, Candy. That was my client. That, I it know. It was never promised to you. The and guy that, said, Candy, it, it don't even matter. It's my that, client. That ticket, that ticket doesn't matter. That ticket matter. is that over, ticket sweetheart. Right. It's like the it's fire. Over. Yeah, but you still worried about it. Oh, you you worried about it. Girl, because I, I care about myself. So that's what I want to know. So what I want to know is the problem. You came to my house in May and did my hair. Why would I not call you today to do it? You just said my house in May. I don't ever want to do your hair. Why can't you go on with your life? I want to know. I will today. I want to know. do you want a relationship with Candy? I guess not. I you did because no. I didn't do it. My thing is, Karama, if you don't mind me saying, yes, of course. the reason I came here, the reason why I called you out is because if, uh, if you're going to hate me, hate me for something that I did. Don't sit up here and I make up a false hate. ass story about me. You said Patsy. You said it on TV. I Patsy, never Patsy, said Patsy, Patsy, Patsy burnt my shop. Patsy burnt my shop to keep you out your damn mouth. Who else is the other person? I hated Patsy. Well, how did you feel about the fact that, you know, this could come against you and all these things. Yes, sir. I personally wanted to look up and see what's the statute of limitations. And so I want to let you know for you personally, just to give you peace of mind, you couldn't be charged at all for anything Thank that's you. going can on. Thank you. Can I say and something? I, and I, and I, but only the but reason I'm saying that. But my heart has been charged. Of heart. I get that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, have a, I am a kind person. I love and helping anybody I can. I don't have a lot of enemies in the world. And if I do, I try to resolve. People have lost out being my friends for so different reasons. So that's why this is important to you. Because I you care about resolve. my damn self. Yeah. You know, and okay, my I name to me is important. If you don't like me, like me for something. Don't, don't like me for something that, that has nothing to do with me. You didn't give me tickets to a show that wasn't even my show. Those yeah. are your I love clients. This narrative right Those now. are your clients. Patsy, do you think now that there's ever a reason to salvage this relationship, especially after no. this? Well, sir, at this point, she doesn't want it. So anything that's not wanted, you don't chase. Okay. Thank Understand you. that. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't call her here Thank for that. You. I called her here to let you, to let her know and let you all know for sure her, I don't have no need or reason to burn your house, your, your shop down. I never said you Girl, did you're it. you're lying. You're a good I actress. I never said you did it. Y'all should give her an Emmy for her I performance because she's a hell of an actress. I never said Pazzy is the one who burned my you shop. You did just I say. I said you had something you, to do with still, it. Still, you, you said did I. You had something you to do with it. You still said I had to do it. You still said I. Because you talk about it. Every time I see you, you bring it up. Every time I see you, it makes me think and feel that way. I would it like to give matter. you ladies my resolution. I know you came on this show with the intention of maybe not only clearing your name, but also salvaging a relationship. And I don't think that's gonna happen. We obviously Well, won't. let me say this, Mama. So hold I, on, hold on. I wanna okay. know. So I want to know because because I know there Girl, is I can't betrayal. Still love. I, I don't know. When she I come around to love being my present, when she leave me, she act like this but around do, me. I don't get but, it. But I don't if, get it. Love don't do work like that. Love is for real. I only thing I want to do her, from this situation I can love God is more, so I'm okay. forgive and this whole forgive this whole slate. Okay, but it's, it, okay, but this is put the, it behind but this me. Is the thing. What I do think is, if you actually do believe that you want forgiveness, yes. can you turn to her and say, "I don't that like we can forgive each other and be apart," and then can you do the same for her? Because there's hurt there, there's pain, there's betrayal that. Whether it's it's clouded in a lot of things that are unclear, but if we can come to a place of forgiveness to say, you know what, whatever you said and I said, I forgive you. You forgive me. Let's move on and just know that we never have to bring this up again. Can you do that for each other at least? Pazzy, I forgive you and let's move on. Give me a hug. Look at you all bossy. Come on. You always bossy. I am. I'm a boss. <laughs> That's That's boss. You always want to control everything. I am. That's how I do life. That's how I do life. So, period. Both of you have to let go now. You oh, have to I, let go. Thank you. All right, friends. Sometimes, as I always say, sometimes some relationships can be salvaged. Sometimes relationships cannot be salvaged. So come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and growing. Hold on. Where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe and right here to watch more. Period.